What's up everyone on YouTube, it's your boy Starboy Does and I'm back with another video. And as you guys can tell from the thumbnail and the title in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to style baggy denim slash the do's and don'ts when it comes to baggy denim. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the video after we wrote this quick little intro. Let's go. All right, we're on it. So you may be asking why I'm actually making this video. And to keep it a hundred with you, I actually just bought a pair of baggy denim. And I just feel like it'd be a good video for you guys to see. Because if you guys are anything like me, you're coming from skinny denim. I love skinny jeans. Skinny jeans was my thing. As you, I don't know if you guys know, but when it came to skinny jeans, it was just something the bottom. I felt like they was just, they were super tight. Like, don't get me wrong. They was like jagging, but I love those denim. Cause I just felt like it wouldn't get with every shoe except for bulkier shoes. So I actually picked up these pants right here. These are a pair of Levi's. These are called the, the Painters. Painter's denim, if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually gonna have B-roll of the pants, but these are the 501 Levi's. I know I'm late. As you guys can tell, I even kept the tag on it. I actually just got them like a couple days ago. No, I'm late, but you know, we about to go ahead and still get it in over here. So pretty much when it comes to making this video, I just wanted to make a video. I feel like if you guys are anything like me and you're coming from skinny jeans, you just wanna go ahead and see how you can style a baggier pair of denim. Cause trust me, when you first get a pair of baggy denim, it's gonna be completely different. It's a whole new world, a whole new wardrobe, and it's completely different from what you're used to. So I feel like this would be a dope video for you guys to go ahead and actually understand when it comes to styling baggy denim, the do's and the don'ts. So that's enough of me talking. Let me go ahead and get straight into it. Number one, when it comes to styling baggy denim, make sure you wear a pair of sneakers that's on the bulkier side. What I mean by this, for a bulkier sneaker, maybe a pair of Air Force Ones, Jordan 5s, Jordan 4s, maybe even some Pumas. I don't know about, I don't know too much about Pumas, but I know there are a lot of Pumas that's more on the bulkier side. So what that means, no, please do not wear these with your Reebok Club C's, especially if you want to actually have it sitting at the shoe. And what I mean, I will be showing you guys footage of what I mean. So when it comes down to, as you guys can see from this clip right here, these actually look completely terrible with these shoes. The pants are actually swallowing the shoes. So if you're gonna wear something like this, I would recommend rolling the pants up just a little bit. You know, maybe show off a little sock action. And it's gonna go ahead and make it look a lot better and make it actually fit the outfit a lot more if you ask me. Also, as you guys can see from this clip right here, I used a pair of Jordan 4s and it actually fits nicely. The pants look like they're stacked perfectly and it's just a better look than wearing the club seeds when the pants was actually swallowing the shoe. So, rule number one, when it comes to styling baggy denim, make sure that the pants fit the sneaker. So if the pants are on your bulkier side, what I mean by that is super wide leg, make sure you're wearing a bulkier sneaker to go ahead and compliment it a lot more. Rule number two, when it comes to styling baggy denim, please wear a top that actually suits the outfit. What I mean by this, please do not pull up to any 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 place walking around with a tank top and some baggy jeans. For a female, that may be the look, but for a guy, please don't do that. Please don't wear no workout t-shirts with a pair of baggy denim. You're gonna be looking completely off. It's just not gonna fit right if you ask me. When it comes to styling baggy denim, make sure you wear something more in the baggier side. What I mean by this, maybe like a little bit of oversized tee or a t-shirt that doesn't fit so snug if you ask me. I feel like this is gonna go ahead and give this outfit a doper look and it's gonna go ahead and make your fit look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So when it comes to that, rule number two, wear a top that actually complements the pants. So if you're wearing super baggy jeans, wear a t-shirt that's a little bit more flowy, you know, not so snug. Rule number three, when it comes to styling baggy denim, please do not walk out the house with some heavily distressed denim. If your denim look anything like this, especially on a baggier pair of denim, this is not gonna look good. Just imagine, just envision it. Let's take it back, close your eyes and envision these distressing on a baggier pair of denim. Wow. I don't understand. I don't even think they make those jeans. But if you decide to distress these pants, please do not do anything crazy like that. Trust me. You might as well just put on some shorts. If that's what you want, wear some shorts. Please do not pull up with holes. First of all, I see the pants where there's no, it's no front. Like I'm gonna show you a picture right here. This picture right here is crazy. If I see a guy walk outside with a pair of pants like that, he might as well be wearing shorts. I just don't understand. But I'm not gonna go ahead and make <laughs> Please do not walk outside with pants like this if you're a guy. It's not a look. You might as well just wear some shorts with your jeans shorts. Make sure your pants are not heavily distressed. If it's gonna be distressed, give it subtle distress in something like this. 
you know, you got to go ahead and fit the distress into the pants. So if the pants are a lot baggier, you know, maybe do some subtle stuff. Maybe the pockets, a little small hole, you know, areas where it may get ripped eventually as time go on. But please don't rock outside with your whole thigh showing your whole calf. You might as well not even, you might as well not be wearing pants. Rule number four, when it comes to styling baggy denim, do's and don'ts, get the right size pair of pants, please. I've seen it too many times. People get oversized pants. You don't need oversized pants. They make pants that fit you that are baggier. If you get, if you want, go with a pair of Levi's 501s on a baggier size, but it's gonna fit you as long as you get the right size. For me, I'm more of like a 32 if I wanted to be snug, but if I want the perfect fit, I go with a 33. So make sure when it comes to wearing these pants, if you wear a size 32 and it's super tight, Go with a size 33. Just one up. You don't got to go up to two may be excessive, you ask me. But you don't want to walk around when you out here looking when you back in 2005. So if you don't want that look, just go with a pair of pants, but just go up one size, possibly. When it comes to waist, you know, try them on if you can. But if it's buying, if you're buying it online, make sure you're looking at the description box. Try to look for the size and try. Make sure that it actually shows you guys how it's going to fit, what size does it recommend, and what is the best option for you. Like I said, for me, I'm a size 32. If I want tighter pants, if I want like a snugger look, I go with a size 32. If I want more of like a fitted look, but not so, so tight, maybe actually my perfect size, always go with a 33. So for me, I basically just go up one size for you, depending on the company and the brand, just go up one size if possible, or go to true to size. Hopefully you guys made it to the end of this video. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button when I roll to a thousand subs. If you guys go back to my other videos, I'm going to be saying I'm going to roll to a thousand subs. So you right there, hit that subscribe button. You can make the difference. Sound like I'm a politician or something. But make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the family. We're going to be posting videos consistently, as you guys can tell. Sundays and Wednesdays are the days. So be on the lookout. Should be up before 3 p.m. So. With all that being said, I'm Starboy Dash. Thank you for 600 subs once again to everybody that hit that subscribe button and helps your boy out. Thank you for everybody that watched all of my videos. Thank you to anybody that commented down below. And with that being said, we out. Peace.